Get ready to take another trip to that galaxy far, far away. To steal from the Empire? To just walk in like you belong? Diego Luna returns to the Star Wars universe in Andor, which is, stay with me here, a prequel series to Rogue One, which is a prequel movie to the original Star Wars. Call it what you will. Let's call it war. I call it confusing, but Diego jumped at the chance to come back and tell the story of his rebel spy's heroic journey. When you found out they wanted to do a prequel series about Cassie and Andor, what were your first thoughts? Well, I, I thought it was a great idea because we know what this character is capable of doing, but we don't know why and how he got there. Yeah, over what, 12 episodes for this season, then another 12 for the second season? Yes. That gives you a pretty long runway to tell a good story. My God, the, each season is like four films, you know? It's <laughs> like eight films. Genevieve O'Reilly also returns as Senator Mon Mothma, future leader of the rebellion. As long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation. That's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. The role is a gift that just keeps on giving, but it almost didn't happen. I heard that you shot scenes for Revenge of the Sith, but they got cut. They know where the power lies and they will do whatever it takes to share in it. Yeah, they were cut because of course that film became about how Darth Vader became Darth yeah. Vader. You were the chosen one! What was your reaction when they called you to do Andor? It was so exciting to receive that phone call and to hear how we could see her, not just as a politician, and not just as a would-be leader of, of these rebels, but also how dangerous that is to be a woman who has an oppositional voice. I'm tired of losing. Safe bet Andor and company will come out on top. Andor drops its three episode premiere on Disney Plus September 21st. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.